when you uh, okay, it's fine, right? Uh, you can uh, read other second-hand uh, material, criticism by other uh, scholars and critics, but uh, you have to summarize it in your own words. Uh, just copying it uh, will pose a lot of problem, right? So, but this is good. Uh, Brave New World. And also, the, the title of a book should be what? In italics. They should be italicized, right? Uh, after reading the first two chapters, I asked you to read chapter one, right? You forgot? I could deduce that the novel is critique of an excessive worshipping of scientific discoveries. The scientifically developed city described in the novel is a world of dehumanized people dominated by a powerful government rather than a utopia. It was interesting to know that even the calendar is marked with the name of Henry Ford, such as AF, after Ford, right? Instead of the Christian day conditioning individuals genetically, physically, psychologically for their inescapable social destinies, stabilize the caste system by creating servants <coughs> who love and fully accept their civility. Okay, uh, and I like uh, the three adverbs, right? Three adverbs, right? Condi conditioning, uh, uh, conditioning. Uh, Genetically, uh, physically, psychologically, right? three important uh, aspects, right? Moreover, conditioning makes them virtually incapable of performing any other function than what they are ordered to do, right? The conditioning also deals, uh, leads the population to support the capitalist economic system. Capitalist, maybe socialist, or is the capitalist? Maybe can part of it, right? Uh, making human beings is like uh, making uh, commodities, right? So in that sense, it's cap capitalist, right? The whole process toward the United Society is almost insane. How do you know that it's insane? We are heading uh, to that end, right? Do you think uh, education is a uh, 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 is is not manipulated? In a sense, you are brainwashed. Brainwashed, right? You 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 are being conditioned by instructors. Do you know that? You you didn't you really realize it, right? But um, uh, we are much better than this society because. Uh, we let you think freely, right? Uh, you, 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 uh, we first let you think in your own way, and you offer your own opinions. So it's different. But th in this society, everything is strictly programmed, right? So, and they, they create uh, servants and uh, the uh, different divisions of people, right? five different. Uh, kinds of uh, people in the, in the caste system, right, right? So it's ironic to see the condition is done to support the capitalist system, which is often led to democracy. Maybe the author wants to show us that the concept of communism that we try to avoid in a democratic country. This idea is, this is your idea? Maybe others, right? One theme emphasized repeatedly in the first chapter is the similarity between the production of human in the pastry and the production of consumer goods on an assembly line. Everything about human reproduction is technologically managed to maximize efficiency and profit. Following the rule of supply and demand, the predestinators project how many members of each caste will be needed. And the hatchery produces human beings according to those figures. One of the keys of mass production is that every part is identical and interchangeable, like parts, right? mechanical parts and machinery. Similarly, in the hatchery, human beings are standardized by the production of thousands of brothers and sisters in multiple groups of identical twins using the 
uh, Bokanovsky and uh, Potsnev processes. Okay, but, but uh, I don't know how much of it uh, is yours. Yun byung Gyo. Uh, second essay, Huxley's style and language and the subject of novel. Huxley uses precision, precise uh, vocabulary, precision in his uh, novel, uh, Brave New World, making everything sound scientific and exact to the point. All the members are mentioned to the letter instead of being rounded off every minute, minor detail of characters, motion, appearance, emotional state, actions are described. This fits the subject of novel perfectly, since it's about a world under absolute control. Also, the point of view is third person, omniscient, and the readers get to everything, just like the government in the novel. Im byung Good. Is it your ideas, or taken from the internet? Both. <laughs> and uh, Isaya? Uh, mostly it's your idea, right? Uh, yeah. Hmm? Okay. And uh, Kim Isook? How about you? Uh, hmm, okay. Good. Delicious lunch? Kim uh, Isook? Uh, okay. Oh, I like it, okay. Huxley's writing style in, in chapter one in Brave New World is quite unique in that he precisely describes the technical production of humans in the fertilizing process, the long scientific and rather difficult explanation of hatching process uh, gave an impression that the idea of hatching humans could be something real. Yes, it's real, right? Do you know that uh, most women these days go to the uh, doctors, uh, the, the, uh, women doctors, because uh, they, it's very difficult to, to uh, get pregnant. <coughs> so artificial insemination, right? This thing happens because uh, usually women get married these days in uh, the early 30s, late 30s, it's very difficult to get pregnant after 30. Is it true? I don't know, I'm <laughs> they say, they say. Well, it's, it's not as difficult, it's just not as likely to have a viable offspring. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. It's going to be a lot more birth control. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you can have only one baby, at least two or, so, so in the future, to sustain uh, the population, to uh, keep the, uh, level of population, the world population, you, 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 kind, you need this kind of technology, right? In some sense. And the, 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 it was written in the, the novel was finished in 1931 and published in 1932. It's amazing. Also, in the description you see the uh, astronaut standing upside down, floating, right? We, ha we have, uh, we had not yet uh, launched the spaceship. So it, it's amazing, right? Also, uh, in the early uh, the 20th uh, century, uh, uh, LSD was very popular, right? And also, uh, the author took some uh, regularly took uh, LSDs to create uh, 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 writing, right? So. Uh, <clears throat> Along with his detailed prescription, his whole, uh, his uh, word choice is used to reinforce the scientific nature of the society he wants to portray. Instead of stating that students agreed with the director because the points he made were very obvious, instead of this sentence, uh, Huxley says, axiomatic, axiomatic, self-evident, disputable, things like that, which are uh, old, no, all often associated with very formal and scientific language. In other words, his choice of words is a reflection on the general tone and ways of the futuristic society 
where everything is unemotional, scientifically operated. Moreover, but uh, paradoxically, you see a figure here, character, right, which is very uh, the uh, short guy, although he's a uh, alpha man, alpha. He's an alpha, but uh, he is kind of Bernard, Bernard Marx. He is kind of short because uh, there was an, uh, an accident because of the uh, alcohol. He was exposed to alcohol too much, too much alcohol, and became short. <laughs> Okay, uh, so he, he is emotional right, here, paradoxically, right? So uh, unemotional and cyclically operated. Moreover, we can see the similarity between the production of humans in hatchery and mass production of consumer goods in our real world. It's evident that they are all identical, standardized by mass production of identical twins, and population is regulated by the factory following the rule of supply and demand. From this chapter, we can see, uh, we can expect the novel will be dealing with science that affects people in a world where people are scientifically uh, controlled down to their nature, and science in this story seems to impress in humanity. We are heading to this society. Right? Kim Yusuf, this is good, but uh, is it <coughs> yours or a mixture of the uh, information you. Yeah? Okay. Chang Ju Young. Park Jin Hee. Your idea, right? Good. And Pyeon uh, Juan, your idea. Kim Ju Nyeop, okay. Cheo. Okay. Now let's go to the cell. It's, it's exciting. I think to me, uh, one of the best part is what? Chapter one, two, uh, two, one, three, three or four, three. Uh, chapter, chapter two is about the, uh, about the decanting room. Hmm? Decanting room. Uh, chapter two is, uh, on infant nurseries, near Pavlovian conditioning rooms, right? Uh, children are, uh, the babies, are exposed to shock, electric shock, and uh, babies are trying to touch beautiful roses, but uh, there was a violent explosion, and they were surprised, and things, things like that, conditioning, right? Condition the child. Neo Pavlovian condition rooms. Uh, chapter three is uh, uh, I like chapter three. It's divided to nine subdivisions, and uh, except uh, uh, part uh, one and uh, nine, all of them is what one page, and and uh, it's a collection of dialogues. Oh, and uh, you, we can guess who is speaking who, what, right? So we, 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 ju we can just guess. Mostly it's a uh, conversation between uh, 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 and Linnea and another, another uh, her friend, right? And 
chapter 4 uh, is uh, divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2. And this, is, this uh, system goes on until the end of novel. Uh, the, the rest of the chapters are divided into two, except uh, chapter 8. Chapter 8, eight, eight is uh, one, part, one whole part, but they are subdivided into uh, four, like, uh, like in chapter 3. Uh, so, uh, and I'm, I'm interested in, uh, I'm interested in chapter three because uh, it's just a um, passive conversations collection of, uh, as if you read them, probably if you made this novel into a movie, it could be quite interesting, right? Chap chapter, chapter three, right? Uh, and it's, it's a visually, uh, a very uh, convincing. Or, uh, at the glance, it, at first glance, you it uh, it uh, looks like confusion. Whole, there is a great confusion in it, but uh, you can get a lot of information here. Right? Okay, chapter two. And also another thing is uh, each chapter is begin with a sentence or phrase. But uh, the first phrase or sentence, all of them are italicized. And I think the, the author is very clever, right? Uh, like in, in chapter one, in chapter two, you see Mr. Foster was left in the decanning room. The DHC and the students stepped into the nearest lift and were carried up to the fifth floor. And then, after the dish, infant nursery is the low end conditioning rooms, announced the most important. And the next, the first paragraph, actually, this is the first paragraph, the next is uh, paragraph. It's a depiction, this description of what? No speech, right? Uh, the, the, the room, right? right? The director opened the door. They were in large bare room, very bright and sunny. For the whole of southern room, the southern, southern world was a single room. Half a dozen persons, browsers and jacketed in the regular white physical linen uniform. Their hair, septically hidden under, under white caps, were engaged in setting out bowls of roses in a long row across the floor. So what? To condition the children, set of rows, and a boogie set, set up, right? Uh, bowls, of, uh, uh, bowls of roses in a long row across the floor. Big bowls packed tight with blossom. Petals of flowers, roses, thousands of petals, bright brown and sickly smooth like the cheeks of innumerable little cherubs, but of cherubs in that bright light. Not exclusively pink and Aryan, but also luminously Chinese or, or also Mexican, uh, also a, 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 a paplatic with uh, too much blowing of celestial trumpets, also pale as dust pale with the posthumous whiteness of marble. Actually, uh, reading this uh, paragraph, uh, I think he is a point, right? He is also a point, right? Very beautiful. And uh, next page. The notice stiffened to attention as DHC came in, set out books, set out book, he said curtly, uh, to condition the children. Now, bring in children. And in the middle. Now, turn them so that they can see the flowers and books. Uh, uh, Turn. The bait that once fell silent. So, they are looking at the uh, uh, books, right? Turn. The babies at once fell silent, then began to crawl towards those clusters of sleek colors, those shapes so gay and brilliant on the white pages. So the sunlight fell, 
the sunlight the sunlight falls on the on the uh, book and uh, the, the the pictures of the flowers are very beautiful they look very beautiful to them and very attractive to the uh, babies <clears throat> as they approach the sun came out of a momentary eclipse behind the cloud the roses flared up as though with a certain passion from within new and profound significance seemed to suffuse the shining pages of books very beautiful eh? from the ranks of the crawling babies came uh, came little squills of excitement executed right giggles and a twiddling of pleasure so uh, they must enjoy the book but instead of uh, uh, enjoyment what uh, does do they feel an explosion certainly an explosion and they, they were astounded right right the, the director rubbed his head excellent he said it might almost have been done on purpose the swiftest crawlers the, the fastest uh, uh, babies were already at their goal. Small hand reached out uncertainly, touched, grasped, unpaddling the transfigured roses, crumpling the illuminated page of the books. The director waited until all were happily busy. Watch carefully, he said, and lifting his hand, he gave the signal. The director gave the signal to the nurse and then they turn the switch on, and what happens? Explosion, right? The head nurse, who was standing by a sheet board at the other end of the room, pressed down a little lever. There was a violent explosion. Shrilla, even Shrilla, the siren shriek, alarm bells, mentally sounded. What happened to the child? The children started screaming. Their faces were distorted with terror. Cut terror. So this is a Pavlovian conditioning, right? <clears throat> and also, uh, uh, from bottom, second paragraph, the nurses obeyed, and at the approach of the roses, at the mere sight of those gaily colored images of Pushy and cock a doodle doo and Baba Black Sheep. Very interesting, right? <laughs> cock a doodle doo and uh, Bob, the Baba Black Sheep. The infant shrank away in horror. The volume of their howling suddenly increased. Observe, observe. Books and loud noises, flowers and electric shocks. Already in the infant mind, these couples were com compromisingly linked. And after 200 repetitions of the same or similar lesson would, would be rendered insolubly. What man has joined, nature is powerless to put asunder. This is interesting. This one is uh, taken from Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a poem. Very strange and unique poem. Phoenix in total, there is a poem. And this is kind of needle, a riddle. And uh, some scholars claim that uh, it's nonsense. It doesn't make sense. But uh, some scholars like me find it uh, uh, to be the most Beautiful poem, Phoenix Total. You can read it. And um, what man has joined, nature is powerless to put asunder. <clears throat> Children will grow up with what the psychologists used to call an instinctive hatred of books and flowers, boxes, unalterably conditioned. They will be safe from books and in all their lives. So they are uh, really a special kind of. Here, right? right. They, they are conditioned to hate books and nature. Right. Uh, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> say, the last uh, line, three movies and then point out, have one great effect. Nature, nature has one great effect. They are relatives. They are free. They are free. People will no longer work. We need uh, workers, but uh, if they don't work, how could the uh, society function? 
So they need such special kind of people. A love of nature keeps no factories busy. It was designed to abolish the love of nature in this society, right? right. And second paragraph, we condition the masses to hate the country, countryside, right? Countryside. Condition, uh, conclude the uh, director, but simultaneously we condition them to love all country sports. Why? They, they must like, they have to like the country sports. Why? To keep the society run, running, economically, right? So at the same time, we see to it that all country sports shall entail the use of electric apparatus so that they consume manufactured articles as well as transport. They should consume transport. If, uh, if they uh, do not go to country, then what? Traffic, no traffic, uh, uh, no, no economy, right? Economy will no longer uh, spin, right? Uh, there was silence then, changing his throat. Once upon a time, <laughs> very interesting, the director began, while our Ford was still on earth, there was a little boy called Ruben Rabindro, uh, Rabinovich. Ruben was the child of Polish-speaking parents. Okay. And, uh, uh, and the rest is talking about, the, about parents and home. Parents and home. But the children are embarrassed because they do not have parents. They, they, they are born out of, out, out of bottles. Uh, and also, home is described very funny. Uh, the description of home is very funny. Okay, we can have a look. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what follows is the, uh, the training. Uh, sleep, uh, hymnopia, page 25, second paragraph. The principle of sleep, sleep teaching, uh, hymnopedia, have been discovered. The THC made an impressive pose. <laughs> uh, these days, uh, special tools are, are being sold, and uh, high schoolers buy it. They, they believe that uh, it'll help them uh, uh, memorize important lessons. Right? So sleep, sleep learning, right? The principle had been discovered, but many, many years were to elapse before that principle was fully applied. The case of Little Ruben occurred only 23 years after our Ford's first T model was put on the market. <clears throat> and uh, furiously, the students scribbled. It's funny. When you read the uh, novels uh, closely, uh, many parts make you laugh, make you, make you smile. Right? Very funny, right? So, curiously, the students scribbled. Hymnopedia, first used originally in AF 214. Why not before? Two reasons, A, B, C, <laughs> things like that, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> But the problem is uh, the child can't remember. <clears throat> they, they went through the uh, sleep learning, but what happens is what? They cannot remember, right? Just, they just repeat mechanically what uh, he must have heard. <laughs> and <clears throat> the child bursts into a, a crying, right? They, 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 they began crying. When they, they when he was asked question. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Page 28, third paragraph. Rose in electric shops, the khaki of deltas, deltas, a whip of uh, asafida, what it is insolubly before the child can speak. <clears throat> but wordless conditioning is crude and wholesale cannot bring home the finer distinctions, cannot inculcate the more complex courses of behavior. For that, there must be words, must 
words without reason, brief, hymnopedia. <clears throat> the student took it down in their little books. Probably <clears throat> the writer must have written, uh, they put it down in their notepad, huh? things like that, straight from the horse's mouth. <clears throat> And then, uh, second problem, pardon, second. Not so much like drops water, though water, it is true, can wear holes in the hardest granite, where the drops of liquid sealing wax are drops that adhere in crust, incorporate themselves with what they fall on, till finally the rock is all one scarlet blob. Till at last the child's mind is these suggestions, finally, right? And the sum of suggestions is the child's mind. And not the child's mind only, the adult's mind too. All this lifelong, the mind that judges, desires, and decides, made up of these suggestions, but all these suggestions are our suggestions. So they are very confident. Actually, this kind of thing happens today. Don't you think so? And the last, last uh, sentence, or forward. He said another poem. I've born and walked with children. He, he, uh, uh, he banged the, 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 the table, and then uh, children were walking. And he said, instead of saying, oh God, <laughs> or forward, right? <laughs> or forward, right? He said in another tone, I've born and walked with children. Uh, this chapter also begins with a <coughs> sentence. All of the words in the sentence are capitalized, right? Uh, Italicized. Outside in the garden, it was playtime. It's an interesting uh, part because uh, children play erotic games. And uh, behind the bush, uh, there were two children. and. Uh, Suddenly there was a crying. They heard the crying, right? During the lesson, there was a, 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 there was a guy, a child, small guy, a crying. And uh, the reason was what? They were playing an erotic game and the boy didn't like it. But uh, uh, the girl said, I did not nothing. I did anything, right? <laughs> so it, it's funny, right? So. Outside the garden, it was playtime. Naked in the warm June sunshine, six or seven hundred little boys and girls were running with shrill yells over the lawns and playing ball games, squatting silently in twos and threes among the flowering shrubs. The roses were in bloom, two nightingales solo, solo, uh, solo, solo guys uh, in, in the boskage. The cuckoo was just going out of tune. Among the lime trees, the air was drowsy with the mama of bees and helicopters. It's interesting. The last sentence. If you say the air was drowsy with the mama of bees, it's what? The age is poetry. Right? The Innisfree, right? Innisfree, when, when, when you read the Innisfree, be loud clay. Right? In the be loud clay. You, you can remember. But uh, it's added helicopters. <laughs> helicopters, yeah, funny, right? The air was drowsy with the murmur of bees and helicopters. And uh, in chapter four, you, you, you will see a, uh, a foster taking Linia to play golf. Right? He, he uh, hops in, in, in uh, Ford's helicopter and flies over uh, London, <laughs> right? So, so. Uh, the director and his students stood for a short time watching a game of centrifugal bumble puppy, bumble puppy, so it's a kind of game. Twenty children were grouped in a circle round a chrome steel tower, a ball thrown up so as to land on the platform at the top of the tower, rolled down into the interior, fell on a rapidly revolving disc, was hurled through one or other of the numerous apertures, uh, pierced in the cylindrical ca casing and had to be caught. Okay, right? Strange, mused director, as they turned away. Strange to think that even in our fourth day, most games were played 
without more apparatus than a ball or two and a few sticks, uh, golf, right? Sticks, uh, and perhaps a, uh, a bit of nothing, maybe a vol volleyball or <laughs> things like that. Uh, imagine the folly of allowing, pe allowing people play elaborate games which uh, do nothing, whatever, to increase consumption, consumption, right? Uh, economy, right? It's madness. Nowadays, the controllers, the presidents, right? There are 10 controllers right, in the world. Uh, the controllers <coughs> won't approve of any new game unless it can be shown that it requires at least as much apparatus as the most complicated of existing games. He interrupted himself. That's a charming little group, he said, <coughs> pointing. Okay, uh, interesting uh, paragraph. In a little grassy bay between tall clumps of Mediterranean hatha, two children, a little boy of about seven and a little girl who might have been a, li a year older were playing very gravely and with all the focus of attention of scientists intent on labor of discovery, a rudimentary game, sexual game, right? They play games. <laughs> And in this society, uh, what is the ideal? You play the games with uh, as many mates as possible. That's normal. If you uh, go steady with one guy, it's, it's abnormal. <laughs> you, you are bad people. <laughs> Very interesting, right? Charming, charming. The DHC repeated uh, sentimentally. Charming. The boys blindly agreed, but uh, their smile was uh, rather patronizing, they had put aside a similar childish amusement too recently to be able to watch them now without a touch of contempt. Charming, but it was just a point <coughs> of keys fooling, fooling about. That was all, just keys. I always think the director was con continuing in the, rather, it is in the same rather maudlin tone when he was interrupted by a loud boo-hooing. So a guy is crying, a small boy. Uh, from a neighboring shrubbery emerged a nurse, leading, uh, leading by the hand a small boy, who howled as he went. An anxious-looking uh, little girl trotted at her, at, her, at her heels. What's the matter? Uh, the nurse shrugged her shoulder. Nothing much, she answered. It's just that the little boy seems rather reluctant. Uh, to join in the ordinary erotic play, I've noticed it once or twice before, and now again today. He started yelling just now, <laughs> and in the, in, and the, <coughs> the, the 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 girl offers excuse, right? So honestly, the girl said, honestly, uh, putting the anxious little uh, anxious-looking little girl, I didn't mean to hurt him or anything. Honestly, <laughs> it's funny, right? Of course you didn't, dear," said the nurse. Reassuringly, and so she went on, turning back to the director. I'm taking him in to see the assistant superintendent of psychology, just to see if anything's at all abnormal. So, if you refuse to play the game, uh, he is abnormal. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. And uh, second from the bottom, second paragraph. He let out the amazing truth. For a long period uh, before the time of Ford, even for some generations afterwards, erotic play between children had been re regarded as abnormal. Uh, today is it normal, very normal uh, in today's society, but uh, in the past, it was regarded as abnormal. So what? What kind of society is It's far advanced, right? He's saying that it's far advanced, right? Indirectly. <clears throat> Uh, and not only abnormal, uh, actually immoral, and ha had therefore been rigorously suppressed. A look of astonished incredibility appeared in the face of his listeners. Listeners? The young children. And they can't believe it. And what does it mean? All, all, all of these are quite normal. Playing, playing. Uh, poor little kids not allowed to amuse themselves. They could not believe it. <laughs> Interesting. Even adolescents, even adolescents like yourselves, not possible. 
uh, barring a little surreptitious uh, autoeroticism and homosexuality, absolutely nothing. Uh, Autocriticism is, is, uh, is, is quite normal, it's considered quite normal today. Right? Even in our society, right? I don't know. Homosexuality. Old people now think uh, it's what? You are born homosexual, right? But in the 19th century, you are burnt on a stick, right? You are executed, right? So uh, different. They, they are, actually, they were ignorant actually, today, right? Uh, in most cases, till they were over 20 years, 20 years old, 20 years old, 20 years old, echoed students in a chorus of loud disbelief. Right. It's, it's very funny, right? And also, uh, they looked around on the freeze of little group to stood the strange a man of middle height, black hair, with a hooked nose, full red lips, eyes very piercing, dark, terrible, he repeated. Who is he? Controller. <laughs> One of the highest readers, controller. DHC had at that moment sat down on one of steel and rubber benches <coughs> conveniently scattered uh, through the gardens. But at the sight of the stranger, he sprang to his feet. He sprang to his feet and darted forward and his hand outstretched, smiling with his teeth, if you see. Controller, what an unexpected pressure. Boys, what are you thinking of? This is the controller, this is the, his fortship. Very interesting <laughs> fort. <laughs> Lord, eh? lordship. But here, uh, 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 your highness, or things like that. His fordship, <laughs> your highness, right? Uh, Mustafa Mond. <laughs> Mustafa Mond. Uh, the name uh, sounds like uh, very... Okay, page 34 is a... Uh, there is an encounter uh, of uh, Henry, Henry, Henry Foster and uh, Bernard uh, Marx, and also Linnea Crown, Linnea Crown, right? And uh, <clears throat> okay, in the middle, his fortship Mustafa Mond. The eyes of the saluting students almost popped out of their heads. And Mustafa Mond, the resident controller for Western Europe, one of ten world controllers, one of ten. And he sat on the bench with a DHC. He was going to stay, to stay, yes, and actually talk to them straight from the horse's mouth, straight from the mouth of Ford himself. <laughs> Very interesting, yeah? Ford. <laughs> straight from the horse, right? Ford, straight from the uh, Queen Elizabeth, right? <laughs> right? Also, uh, history is bunk. History uh, is bunk. It's interesting, right? Uh, and, and on page 35, there is a, okay. Okay, uh, page 34, the last paragraph, from uh, the first paragraph, uh, from bottom. He waved his hand and it was, uh, it was as though with an invisible feather whisk he had brushed away a little dust, and the dust was uh, hara harapa, or the, was war of shoulders, some spider web, and they were Thebes, Babylon, uh, Gnosis, uh, Messina, Whisk, Whisk. And where was Odysseus? Where was Jah? Where was Jupiter and Gautama and Jesus? Whisk. <laughs> Very interesting. It, it sounds like a cartoon, right? <laughs> hmm. And also uh, uh, on page 35 from bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean the, uh, the DAC looked at him nervously. There were those strange rumors of all forbidden books, forbidden books, right? Hidden in a safe in the control of study. So all the books are hidden except the scientific books, right? Uh, and the hidden books are Bibles, poetry, <laughs> Bibles, poetry, hidden book. Right? Ford knew what? Okay. And the last paragraph on the uh, Those who feel themselves despised do well to look despising 
The smile on Bernard Marx's face was contemptuous. Every hair on the bear, indeed, I shall make a point of going, said Tony Foster. Okay, it's divided, uh, divided by the Marx N, right? Page 36. Uh, uh, okay. Chapter 3, uh, how many divisions in Chapter 3? Mm. Mm. Uh, nine parts, right? Mm. Uh, nine parts. Uh, second division is. Uh, uh, in uh, rather in detail and uh, very important uh, information uh, <coughs> is contained in it. So, uh, very interesting part. <coughs> Mustafa leaned forward, I'll skip. The okay, uh, there are explanations on uh, about family and home, uh, what they mean, right? And uh, page 39, it's a uh, definition of a home. On page, second paragraph, home, home, and uh, it is definition, a, a few small rooms, right? Today, how many rooms do you have? A few, three. If you live big apartment, four, right? In small apartment, two rooms, right? A few small rooms, stifingly over inhabited by a man, by a periodically teeming woman, teeming woman, by a rabble of boys and girls of all ages, no air, no space, and understerilized prison, darkness, disease, and smells. Compared uh, with the living condition today, right? So, the, uh, the controller's avocation was so vivid, it put in uh, 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 parentheses, right? Uh, very interesting. The controller's avocation was so vivid that one of the boys, more sensitive than the rest, turned pale at the mere description, was on the point of being sick. So, home. <laughs> okay. And in the meantime, Lina is what? She is taking a shower. And the bath is very uh, unique, right? You can enjoy yourself erotically. There are uh, uh, many, many, many women take a bath there. And then uh, there's only a suggestion. Uh, she satisfied herself, right, in here. <clears throat> in the middle, Lydia got out of bath, toweled herself dry took hold of a long, flexible tube plucked into the wall, presented the nozzle to her breast. Massage, right? Uh, as though she meant to commit suicide, pressed down the trigger. A blast of warm air dusted her with the finest uh, talcum powder. Right? Eight different scents and eau de cologne were laid, laid on in little taps of the wash basin. She turned on the third from the left, Dabbed herself with uh, 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 this kind of uh, perfume. Uh, and carrying her shoes and stockings in her hand, they went out to see if one of the vibro vacuum machines were free in order to use it. Uh, this is a, this is a, the next paragraph is the continuation of the uh, <coughs> description of the home, right? So in between, the descriptions, uh, something is inserted uh, between, uh, in, uh, in a uh, 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 description, right? And in, in the description of home, right? Uh, and home was a uh, squalid physically, squalid phys uh, psychically and physically. Psychically, it is a uh, rabbit hole, midden, hot with the friction of tightly packed life, breaking in motion. What suffocating uh, inti inti uh, intimacies, what dangers, insane, obscene relations between members of the family group. So, uh, this society is what? This, this novel is about what? Utopia? Yes. But dystopia, right? Yeah? 
compared with it, maybe uh, in the future we'll uh, create a society uh, similar to that, but currently it's disappeared. This, this utopia, right? This utopia. So, members of, so, no critics like this novel, no critics, and all of them. Yeah? Maniacally, the mother brooded over her children, her children, and, uh, and then again, the relation between mother and baby is horribly described here, right? Okay. Brooded over them like a cat over his kittens. This is fine, but a cat that could <coughs> talk, a cat that could say, my baby, my baby, over and over again, my baby, oh, at my breast, the little hand, the hunger, that unspeakable agonizing pleasure, <laughs> right? <laughs> Till, at last, my baby sleeps, my baby sleeps with a bubble of white milk at the corner of his mouth, my little baby sleeps. <laughs> yes, said Mustafa Mon, the nodding said, you may well as shut up. Uh, who are you going out uh, with tonight? Li uh, Nini asked, returning from the Bible. So there is, uh, uh, it's, it's inter interwoven, right? Interwoven dialogue. Uh, Nini asked, returning from the Bible back, uh, like a pearl illuminated from within, pinkly glowing. <coughs> so she, she is now fully satisfied, right? And uh, she is like a pearl. Linia raised her eyebrows in astonishment. I've been feeling rather out of sorts lately. Lately, Fanny, uh, Lina's friend, Fanny, explained, Dr. Well advised me to have a pregnancy substitute. Uh, pr pregnancy, so surrogate mother, right? Uh, pregnancy substitute. But my dear, you are only 19. <laughs> the, the argument is very interesting, right? And uh, the first pregnancy substitute isn't compulsory till 21. She is uh, young, but uh, she is volunteer. She volunteered, right? I know, dear, but some people are better if they begin earlier. Dr. Wells told me that uh, brunettes with wide phalluses, like me, ought to have their first pregnancy substitute at 17. So I'm really two years late, not two years early. She opened the door of her locker and pointed to the row of boxes and they labeled fields, uh, uh, bottles, small bottle, on the upper shelf. And there is the uh, description on the bottle, instructions, right? Uh, syrup, uh, <coughs> corpus uh, litten, uh, linear, read the names aloud, over, ovarian, over, over, ovarian, guaranteed fresh, not to be used after August 1st. AF 632, memory gland extract to be taken three times daily before meals with a little water. Percentin, 5cc to, to be injected uh, in, in, uh, uh, intravenously every third day. Oh, linear shuddered. How I lost intravenous, don't you? Yes, but when they do one good, Fanny was a particularly sensible girl. Okay, and uh, jump. Uh, 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 okay. Page 40. And uh, Fanny, Fanny asked her uh, with whom uh, Linia uh, dates. And uh, uh, Linia said with uh, Henley Ford Foster. Henley, Ford, Henley, uh, Henley Foster. And she was surprised, right? Again? Fanny, Fanny's kind, rather moonlike face took on an incongruous expression of pain and disapproving astonishment. Do you mean to tell you? Uh, do you mean to tell me you are still going out with Henry Foster? <laughs> right. Mothers and fishers, uh, fathers, uh, brothers and sisters, but uh, there were only husbands, wives, lovers. Uh, there were only monogamy and uh, uh, romance. Though you probably don't know. Uh, what those are, said Mustafa Mon. So there's a lecture going on, also conversation between two girls, I inserted it, and this, these are repeated, this is repeated. Uh, they shook their head, a family, but everyone belongs to everyone else. Everyone else, he included in the
what does it mean? You have to date as many people as possible. <laughs> the student nodded, emphatically agreeing with a statement with operas of 62,000 repetitions in the dark. Except not merely as true, but as axiomatic, self-evident, ultra indisputable. Okay. Uh, about mother and uh, romance, page 41, last paragraph. Mother, monarchy, romance, high spurts, high spurts the mountain, fierce in form, the wild jet, fierce as but a single outlet, my love, my baby, no wonder these people, pre-moderns, were mad, wicked, and miserable. <laughs> so, <coughs> according, to, according to Mustafa, uh, all of us are crazy, right? <laughs> right? Because uh, we go steady with only w one uh, partner, right? What do you think? <laughs> and uh, page uh, 42, Uh, stability, said the controller, stability. No civilization without social stability. No social stability without individual stability. His voice was a trumpet, a listening. They felt larger, warmer. So the children are what? Having already a uh, uh, con condition, right? Condition to be part of uh, this society. Uh, the machine turns, turns, and must keep on turning forever. It reminds me of a uh, Yeats's poem, turning and turning, widening in, widening gaia. So, I think uh, Huxley was impressed by Yeats also, <coughs> just like uh, Lawrence uh, uh, had been. Right. So, the machine turns, turns, must must keep keep on turning forever. Uh, and next paragraph, wheels must turn steadily. The, uh, Yeats has a special theory of uh, world, right? Uh, civilization uh, is repeated every 2,000, right? So, uh, wills must turn steadily, but it cannot turn unattended. There must be a man to attend, attend them, man as steady as the wills upon their axles. Same man, abidant man, stable in contentment. So, this side uh, needs uh, different kinds of caste. Right, lower, right? Epsilon or things right there. Epsilon. Uh, in chapter four, you uh, you see a uh, guard, elevator uh, guard. Right? It's an it's an almost a moron, right? <laughs> so, cry, my baby, my mother, my <coughs> only, my love, groaning, my my sin, my terrible God, screaming with pain, muttering with fever, bemoaning old age, poverty. How can they tend the wheels? And if they cannot tend the wheels, the corpses of thousands, thousands, thousands of men and women would be hard to bury or burn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Page 44, second paragraph. 44. Fortunately, boys, said the controller, no pains have been spared to make your lives emotionally easy to preserve, uh, preserve you so far as that is possible from having emotion, emotions at all. Uh, Forge is, is his uh, fever, mama, DHA, all's well in the world. All's well that ends well. Shakespeare, right? <laughs> so so uh, a, a, a boy named uh, John, uh, 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 born between uh, uh, Linda, a woman, Linda, and the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, director, uh, and uh, he he comes back to London later on. Mm. Uh, Linia Crown, Crown, Sir Henry Foster, echoing the assistant. Assistant uh, pre <coughs> destinator's uh, question as he jipped up his trousers. Oh, she's a splendid girl, wonderfully <coughs> pneumatic. <laughs> wonderfully pneumatic. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't had her. So, <laughs> uh, 
I can't think how it is. I haven't uh, said the assist uh, predestinator. Uh, pre I certainly will at the first opportunity. From his place on the opposite side of the changing room aisle, uh, Bernard Marx overheard what they were saying and turned pale. So uh, Bernard is a alpha, alpha. He's, a, he's an alpha, alpha man, but still. So uh, toward the end of our war, uh, three people were what? Were put on trial, right? Uh, including uh, Bernard, Bernard, I think. Okay, the last paragraph. Why not? Bernard's an <coughs> alpha plus. Besides, he asked me to go to one of Savage's reservation with him. So Linia uh, says it publicly in the elevator, and uh, and uh, Bernard doesn't like it. Right. Right. I've always wanted to see a Savage reservation. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, toward the end of uh, this section, uh, there are uh, exchanges of dialogues right here. And uh, the next next section is uh, simply a uh, exchange of dialogues on page uh, forty nine. There is division. Another, this is another part. Liberalism, uh, liberalism of course, was dead of uh, anthrax, and all the same, you couldn't do things by force. Not really so, humanity is <coughs> linear. Oh, not really. But all close up, viciously, continued the uh, untiring whisper. Uh, we always uh, throw away old clothes. Ending is better than mending. Ending is better than mending. Ending is better. So what? This society is the affluent, right? Instead of repair something, you throw them away. Throw them away, right? Government's an affair of sitting, not hitting. <laughs> uh, you rule with the brains and the buttocks. Interesting. You rule the world with the brains and with the buttocks. <laughs> with the brain and the sex, right? Uh, never with fish, for example. There was the conscription of consumption. There, I, I'm ready, said Rinya, but Fanny remained speechless and averted. Let's make peace, Fanny, darling. Every man, women, and child compelled to consume so much a year in the, in, in the interest of the industry, the sole result, ending is better than mending. The, the most is the last which is. The, the most is the last which is. How true? Right? In this society, you are encouraged, encouraged to buy more cars, more expensive cars, more apartments, more things. Right, we are going to fall asunder, right? How could, you, how could the earth sustain us? Right? At this rate, right? we, will be, we, will be, we will disappear on the surface burst, right? We have uh, too many cars. Uh, did you see cars in the morning? Big car, huge car, and there's only one driver. Right? They are spoiling the earth. Right? So, uh, so, the more stitches, the less witches. The more stitches. <laughs> Very interesting, right? One of these days, said Fanny, with mis dismal emphasis, you'll get in trouble. Conscientious objection on an enormous scale. Anything not to consume, back to <coughs> nature. I do love flying. I do love flying. And another section. Back to culture. Act yes, actually to culture. You can't consume much if you sit still and read books. So, books are prohibited. Right? Do I look all right? Lina asked. Her jacket was made of bottle green, estate uh, close with green uh, viscose fur and the cups in color. Okay, uh, next, next, next part on page 51. The discoveries of uh, Fitner and Kawaguchi, right? Japanese brother, right? Uh, uh, maybe company. Uh, Fitner were at last made use of and 
intensive propaganda against uh, the vi uh, vipers reproduction. Perfect, cried Fanny emphatically. She could never resist Linnea's charm for long and uh, what a perfect sweet uh, Maltian's belt. Okay, and uh, uh, there is a uh, clip. A man called Shakespeare. You've never heard of them, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, next section. Introduction of our four's first team model. I've had it uh, nearly three months. And next section. Four. How I hate them. Bernard Marx was thinking. Uh, there was uh, there was a thing called heaven, but all the same, they used to drink enormous quantities of alcohol, like meat, like so much meat. Uh, there was a thing called the soul and a thing called immortality. <laughs> okay. And there on uh, ne next section, next section, and the final one is a. Uh, okay, page fifty-five, the last paragraph. Now. Such is a progress. The old men work, the old men copulate, the old men have no time, no leisure from pleasure, not a moment to sit down and to think. And if ever, by some unlucky chance, such a crevice time should yawn in the solid substance of their uh, destructions, there is always soma, delicious soma, soma, kind of maybe LSD, uh, half a gram for half holiday, a gram, A gram for a weekend, two grams for a trip to the gorgeous east, three for dark eternity on the moon, returning whence they find themselves on the other side of the crevice, safe on the solid ground of daily labor and destruction, scampering freely, feely to feely, from girl to pneumatic girl, uh, from electromagnetic golf course to. <laughs> From girl to pneumatic uh, uh, girl. What, is, what, what does it mean? <laughs> Artificial, right? Uh, Self eroticism, right? Go away, little girl, shouted the DHC angrily. You, you, you go away, little boy. Can't you see that his four ship's busy? Go and do your erotic play somewhere else. Suffer, little children, <coughs> said the controller. Slowly, majestically, with a faint humming of machinery, the conveyors move forward 33 centimeters an hour in the red dark glinted the innumerable rubies. Innumerable rubies, the, the eyes of the poor. babies, right? So, chapter three is very unique. Uh, after this, uh, the poem is kind of uh, easy, simplified. So, uh, we, are, we are not done with uh, chapter 4, uh, we'll continue. And uh, the homework is the assignment for uh, uh, 16th, chapters 5, 7, 8. So we have weekend, so uh, it's, a, it's a kind of, the, we have a, a during the weekend, you do it because uh, uh, next week, next Wednesday, uh, the uh, reading uh, uh, amount is a little less than this one. So, do chapter six, seven, eight, uh, summarize in one paragraph, and uh, another paragraph on what's most interesting to you, uh, or uh, one paragraph on any novelist technique or style one of in uh, these chapters, right? Okay. Thank you. See you.